Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming here today. I appreciate you. Um, fellow Masons, from the core of my being, I, I apologize. I made a terrible mistake, and I'll accept the consequences for making that mistake. You, the voters in District 3, have bestowed upon me a great honor, and I've disappointed you. To you, I say directly that I'm very sorry. I am so very sorry that what I have done, and I've been overwhelmed with guilt, and I realized that someone could have been hurt. I could have hurt my wife, Erica, who's with me. Mi amor. I'm very sorry. Thinking about my son not having a mother because of my actions tortures in my, in my sleep. My heart aches at the thought of anyone in our community suffering in any way because of my actions. It is my most fervent hope that I can make amends for my violation of your trust so that you may once again hold me in esteem. I'd like to apologize, to apologize to my colleagues on the Mesa City Council. Being a, being a member of the City Council is a great responsibility, and it's one that I don't take lightly. To Mayor Giles, my fellow council members, Jeremy Whitaker, Mark Freeman, David Luna, Chris Glover, and Kevin Thompson, I apologize for both the bad light that I have brought to this chamber and added pressure that I have given you individually. I apologize for jeopardizing the integrity and reputation of the city and those who serve in our council. Finally, and most importantly, I would like to apologize to the children and young people of Mesa. As many of you know, I have worked hard to promote the children's activities and organizations impacting youth. Our children are a future foundation of our community, its future leaders and residents, the tomorrow of Mesa. Our young people need role models, and political leaders bear that responsibility. I have failed you, and I must do better. Over the last few days, I've made hundreds of calls to fam family, friends, voters, to personally apologize to them. I've heard many disappointed yet hopeful voices. The hardest apology of all was to the kids, and to view their sad faces as I explained the consequences of my decisions were grave and sad. Their scared questions were even worse. I'm still recovering from those conversations, as, as you can tell. Uh, Crescent, Sophia, Nala, Frankie, Trina, Cheyenne, Ciara, I hope you can't forgive me. This incident made me take a hard look at my life, my decisions, and my capabilities. I have learned that I have some, made some poor choices, and my, my wife and I have enrolled in family counseling program. I will not avoid the consequences of my mistakes, but I'll own up to them. I'm cooperating with the city of Tempe, and I will abide by the decisions of the courts in the adjudication of my case. With the help of my community, my family, my friends, my colleagues, I will work hard to make amends for my mistakes and become a better husband, a better leader, and a better man. Mayor Giles and fellow council members, I ask that you accept my voluntary leave of absence from the public duties as a member of this council while I resolve the legal issues before me and undertake counseling. With the help of those on this council and across our community, I will resume my duties as a member of this council as soon as these issues are resolved and fulfill the commitments I made to my constituents when they put their trust in me and elected me. I have loved and championed the city of Mesa for as long as I can remember. The day that I elect was elected was the happiest day of my life. My mistakes do not change that excitement that I have for, for my work here, nor will it hinder my mission to advocate for my constituents in this district as their council member. We have so much exciting work to do. Mesa is at the edge of a sea of opportunities. We face the challenges of an emerging city and must have diverse leadership to solve them. For the remainder of my term, I will serve our community in a way that will truly make you proud. I will faithfully work to overcome any harm and actions my actions have caused in the image of Mesa. And I will work to continue. I will continue to work with all of you to contribute positively to our neighborhoods and the community which nurtures us, keeps us safe, and makes us whole. Thank you all very much for coming, and uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Sorry, I can't take any questions. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I am Councilman Winkle's attorney. My name is John Phoebus, P-H-E-B-U-S. Uh, Councilman Winkleman has, uh, Winkle, I'm sorry, has asked me to make it clear that he has directed me to cooperate fully with the city of Tempe in their investigation and to resolve his case as expeditiously as possible. Uh, he has cooperated fully. He will continue to do so and we look forward to bringing closure to his case for himself and the city of Mesa 
uh, as soon as possible. Thank you very much.